personal trainer and dietitian here jump more. Who's that to? Is that to me? I jump a lot playing basketball. That was actually something we talked about today, how like some full-grown adults don't know how to skip, jump, or walk backwards anymore, apparently. Do we have any of you, you freaks here that don't know how to do those things anymore? There's an Inside Edition video that came out a while ago about a bride getting married at 7-Eleven. That was cute. I haven't seen that one, Xander. And yeah, I'm excited for more Liza P. No, it's three separate things. Apparently, there's a lot of adults that have forgotten how to skip, forgotten how to jump, and forgotten how to walk backwards. We were talking about that earlier today. I feel like you never really forget how to do those things. You forgot how to do it, pussy. I can do all of those things. I can jump, I can walk backwards, I can skip. Absolutely. Prove it. Alright, hey. That, that ain't no problem for me. Here's the walking backwards. Look at that. And I can mix it up. And then skipping is another thing that you just, like, never really forget. And then that already incorporates jumping, but... I can do all of it. But I'm kind of an athletic specimen. Bro, jolly as hell. <laughs> Check out Ms. Liz. She made the Google Doc chronicling the Overwatch shit. Okay. Ms. Liz. Let me take a peek. Okay, I'll read through that in a little bit. Thanks, Resub Zeke. Never stop. I'm 32 and think I just blew my knee out. Which part? The jumping part? Absolutely, Goofus. Thanks for the tier one, empathetic emo chick. Good to see you again. Fucking membered on YouTube and subbed on Twitch. That's super wholesome. Unless you're an athlete, there's no need to jump. That's where you're wrong. So the conversation went a little further than just talking about people that forgot how to do those things. Apparently, doing them and like reminding your body how to do them is very good for your gray matter. Like the gray matter in your brain or something. So even just like occasionally jumping or skipping is good. Thanks for some noob. I don't know how true that is. But we were talking about that based on what we had read. Jumping is super good for your knees. Just don't jump off a hill or, or something. Is jumping good for your knees? I actually think it's the opposite. I think jumping is actually bad for your knees. Let me see. But I think it's still something that's pretty important. All right. Uh, the large muscles in your tentacle. Yeah. So repeated jumping can potentially cause wear and tear in the tendons and instability in your kneecaps. So if you jump too much, it can be bad for your knees. But it seems like overall it's fine for joint health. Thanks, membership, Ethan. This has to be done in moderation. But jump rope is something that you do for, like, rehab. So it's got to be good to some extent. <laughs> the woke liberals ruin everything. Damn, you woke mind virus. I can't even jump without my knees hurting anymore. Damn! I appreciate it, Rev. And I've been there. I actually like the spot. How many pull-ups can I do? Uh, like, in a single set? Depends. I can... If I'm, like, really pushing, 
I can usually get up to like 30-ish. But the last like eight usually really get bad form. So if we're going perfect form, probably like, if I really push, probably like 25. Calisthenics is super easy for me because I'm extremely light and I always do calisthenics. Last time he was dying at 10 push-ups, or at 10 pull-ups. What are you talking about? I used to stream workouts with Caleb and I on here. And on back day, I'd be cranking out usually sets of 20. That's what I usually do for pull-ups when I'm doing calisthenics on back day. How many, mus how many muscle-ups? I've never tried doing a muscle-up. I think I can probably do like one or two, but I've never actually tried them, so I don't know the technique. Didn't leave it or anything, obese. Just don't go to church or anything anymore. I really... If, if we're getting into the spiritual talk, I really came to the conclusion that I was just always fearful. Like, after the second time I got baptized, always worrying about, like, is this a sin? Am I going to hell for this? That kind of stuff. It just made me always being afraid. And I've just really started to feel like God probably wouldn't want that. <laughs> like, I don't think he wants everyone to be afraid of him. And I really don't think he'd want people going to church just to give money to it. Like, I feel like, why would he care about that? So I kind of just stopped going and worrying about that kind of stuff. No, what is that star? Do I think I'll do Sonic 06 or Shadow the Hedgehog on bad game nights before Sonic 3's release? If they're on Steam, yeah. Sonic 06 is only 360, so I need the emulator for that. No, sweet. Thanks, Parker. Do your parents still go? Fuck no. I was the one that made my parents go. My parents have never been religious. Appreciate it. Thanks, Dakota. The poop painter was the 4chan guy. Oh, gotcha. And yeah, I'm going to be playing Space Marine too when it comes out. And yeah, I have it pulled up, Arrow. I've, I've got the, the bullet points on what it is. Which is crazy. No moist meter on Freebird? Huh? What's Freebird? Do you mean the song? The Leonard Skinner song? Because why would I moist me to that? Or is there a new thing? I have not read the Vinland Saga manga. I just watched the anime. And I got no real tips for you gaming. I'd say just go for it. Just start writing it all out. You don't need to do the art necessarily, but just write it all out. Do you edit your own vids? I edit about 90% of my videos. The bigger stuff like the MWL, the music videos, or tier lists, or miscellaneous IRL shit is edited by Aaron and Chase, but everything else is me. In Sony Vegas, the last of my kind. <laughs> 